Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, and as you know, this is my HIV journey. Um, so recently I had someone who uh, sent me a response um, to a video that I had made uh, regarding the loss of Adam's, Adam Childs. He was a, a young man who killed himself, who was accused of exposing another person to HIV. Um, and unfortunately, because he killed himself, um, he'll never be tried in a court of law. But this person... Um, uh, said it's really terrible that there is an idea floating around that people who are HIV positive are being criminalized under certain state statutes. The laws are in place to penalize those who knowingly spread the virus. I am shocked that you are, in a sense, trivializing the severity of HIV positive diagnosis by arguing that it's not a death sentence due to advancements in modern medicines and treatments. People still die from this infection. Um, start distilling the truth or the right info. Well, let me correct you on a few things. Um, people do not die of the infection. They die as a complication um, the, uh, of AIDS um, that um, weaken their immune system to a point that they, um, their immune system just can't fight off anything. Okay? So let's just, that's first and foremost. Um, the fact is people are being criminalized um, because of HIV. Uh, here in the state of Missouri, in my home state, we have some of the uh, most severe laws penalizing um, uh, HIV exposure and transmission. Um, while your little blurb sounds good that these laws, which were enacted in 1988, um, were meant to uh, keep the general public safe, um, there's several problems with this thinking. Um, obviously, we have a lot more science than we did in 1988. In the late 80s, they also believed that everybody with HIV should be um, uh, quarantined. Um, there were petitions that were passed around to do this. Um, some thought that we should be tattooed or made to have you know, marks on licenses or, or whatever. Um, and, and we've seen that you know, time and time and time again. Currently... Uh, in the United States of America, we have 36 states that have some form of criminal statutes um, uh, against HIV exposure transmission. Um, you know, here in my home state of Missouri, um, if I am positive, which I am, and my partner is negative, um, according to the law, we are not allowed to be in a relationship. We are not allowed to have sexual contact because I am exposing him to HIV. Now, even if I have disclosed my status, and even if I use a condom, and even if I'm undetectable, which, oh, by the way, there is a only very, 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 very small um, a chance of transmitting the virus, uh, according to the latest research, according to all those things, I'm still guilty of criminalization and of exposure to HIV. So, so my problem is with this person, uh, R.A. Blunt uh, 09, you don't have a clue what you're talking about. Um, for those of us who are living with HIV, if you're not worried about criminalization and you're out there um, having any sexual contact... Um, you really need to be concerned with what state you're in and what the criminalization statutes are. And, you know, I, I recently saw a, um, a blurb on Facebook and it said HIV is not a death sentence, but it is a prison sentence. And that's true. You know, here in St. Louis, uh, in the last year, year and a half, we've had 24 prosecutions with 19 convictions. Uh, so if you're not worried about criminalization and you're living with HIV, you need to wake up. Uh, you know, this person went on to say, I like your videos, but please tell the truth, uh, uh, I guess, about HIV. HIV is something that's life-altering, and there are many people who can't afford the medications or it's ineffective. Uh, people need to start disclosing their statuses to their partners. I'm, hey, I, I say that. People need to disclose their status each and every time. Um, you have an obligation under the law to um, inform your sexual partners and uh, medical staff. Um, yeah, HIV does alter your life. Uh, you know, I, it's not a death sentence, but it's a life sentence. Uh, it, it causes you to change your life. But I can honestly say now, after two years 
of living with HIV, I'm healthier um, than what I ever was prior. Um, and as far as the medications and uh, being ineffective, uh, look, uh, you know, there are going to be people that have problems with medications. Those are typically patients who have been diagnosed for long periods of time. Um, newer patients will not have as many problems. And there are programs such as ADAP and Ryan White um, that will help you with medication. So um, if you're living with HIV, wake the fuck up and know what is going on. Know that you can be criminalized. Know that you can be arrested uh, for exposure and transmission. Wake the fuck up. Know your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Do not talk to police. Do not, uh, uh, you know, you have an obligation uh, that when someone calls you from the health department, you don't have to talk to them. You're not required to talk to them. It's up to you. Um, I always end my videos the same way. Until my next video, do something positive.